You've checked out Kinesis and decide that it provides a cost-effective means of buying and selling bullion, insured free storage, several ways to earn a yield on your funds, and the ability to transfer funds globally in seconds with the flexibility of a linked local bank account and debit card. Additionally, you want a superior way of securing your savings, which will also cater to Bitcoin, Ethereum, and other cryptos. This video will show you how to create a wallet using Cool Wallet S. There will be subsequent videos showing how to securely recover your wallet. You should always do this before using your wallet. Also, how to set up and use your wallet alongside the Kinesis monetary system and some suggestions for making your seed phrase durable. The Cool Wallet S is currently the only hardware wallet to support KAU, Kinesis Gold, and KAG, Kinesis Silver. So it's the natural choice if you want to secure larger balances of bullion on the Kinesis blockchain. You can also use it to secure your KVTs as a custom token. The Cool Wallet provides a couple of options when creating a new wallet and recovering an existing wallet. One is higher security, and the other is a lower security option, which offers higher convenience. For the Cool Wallet, the lower security options are the defaults. But if you've taken the decision to get this hardware wallet, then it only makes sense to use the higher security options. This is what we'll cover in this video. The higher security option basically limits the display of the seed words to the card, thus limiting any potential interception of them on a compromised phone. Assuming you have the Cool Wallet S, the next thing to do is install the app. Go to the Apple Store, or the Google Play Store and search for Coolbit X Crypto and install this on your smartphone. To prepare, please charge your card before starting and make sure the metal contacts and the arrow on the charger are facing you before slotting the card into the charger. Before doing the setup, spend a bit of time getting used to the card button. The easiest way of operating it is to start with it on a flat surface and roll your finger or thumb over the button until you hear a soft click. Use a long press to switch on and off and a short one where you're prompted for actions. Have the supplied recovery seed card at hand. If you do not have this, a piece of paper will do. Do not store the seeds on your PC or phone. When you initiate an action, such as connect, reset, or confirm, the app will ask you to switch on the card and attempt a Bluetooth connection to the card. From time to time, you will get a Bluetooth interrupted message. When this happens, go to the phone settings and switch Bluetooth off and then back on then retry the action within the Coolbit X app. It can help to turn the card on before you initiate any of these actions. After starting the app, you should see the Bluetooth connection screen. The app should present the number of your card as a connection option. If not, try turning the card on. Click Connect. Once successfully connected, you'll see a Bluetooth icon on the card display. Click Create. As mentioned earlier, the less secure option by app is defaulted. Click on By Card to change this. You can choose a different seed length, but I'll use 12. Then click Generate. The first seed word will be displayed on the card. The
the seed word is actually a string of numbers. Write this seed word down on the recovery card and press the button on the card to move to the next word. Please take your time doing this. Write the numbers so they are very clear. Make sure you don't make any mistakes with the numbers and make sure you write the seed words down in the sequence they are displayed. Once you've got all 12 seed words written down, cycle through the numbers on the card by pressing the button and double check that what you've written down matches exactly what is displayed. Once you've completed this, click Write Down and Verify. Next, sum the numbers that you wrote down. Click where the cursor is blinking above the yellow line and key in the total. Then click Verify. Here's the message you get if you didn't add them up correctly. If you can't get the numbers to add up correctly, then you can exit the process by clicking on the back button on your phone. Then confirm the failure of the wallet. If you have added up the numbers correctly, press verify and you can move on to the next step. Now you need to tick which coins you'll want in your wallet. You can add others later, so this doesn't have to be definitive at this stage. I've just added two for now. Next, you are asked whether you want to display the receiving address on the card. Because of the small card screen size, it's difficult to read the long address on the card and much easier to check via the app confirmation screen. However, for maximum security, this should be done. Now your wallet setup is done. You should be able to see the coins that you selected. To me, however, we are only really partway through setting up the wallet. It's important to test that we can successfully recover it before considering using the wallet. Please watch the next video for an explanation of this.